Aquarius friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is going to cover the next two weeks for you guys, April 15th to April 28th, 2019, for Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Just as a quick reminder, Aquarius, especially those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Um, I'm reading for a lot of you. It's impossible for the reading to resonate with every single one of you. So please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Absolutely feel free to watch your other signs. I'm using Mystic Dreamer for you guys. Beautiful deck for Aquarius, Spirit, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Aquarius. So Aquarius, those of you that have been following me for a while, you guys know I like to change it up. So we're going to be doing a 10-card Zelta Cross spread. And those of you that would like to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, get a private reading, instant go. Links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. Facebook Live every Wednesday. For your weekly general reading around 7 o'clock, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. Hold on, let me move these over. Okay, what do we got at the bottom? The Knight of Swords. So, your, your energy, definitely. Um, you might have something to say to someone. Someone definitely might have something to say to you. You know, this being your energy, some of you could be in a big hurry to charge forward quickly. Some of you are definitely ready to take action, move forward. And things could be happening, you know, for you guys very suddenly, quickly. Uh, unexpectedly, for sure. You know, and you're starting out with, with temper. Look at, I love temperance in this deck. You definitely have like some emotional energy here. But, you know, with the Knight of Wands, you know, and we have, and you have the Knight of Swords here, the Knight of Wands, temperance. You know, temperance is all about patience, moderation, you know, your angels, your guardian angel, your spirit guides. You know, this is things happening on divine timing, right? Being divinely guided on the path that you're meant to be on. So I think some of you are feeling a little bit emotional. You know, and I think, you know, needing to definitely, which in this deck I feel like you are, you know, staying patient. When divine timing is at play, there's really nothing you could do about it. It's got to happen at the precise moment that they're meant to happen. You know, with the Knight of Wands, I mean, really, I mean, you guys have the tower here. And, you know, both of these knights are very fast moving knights. And for some of you, I really just, I could feel it for you. Some of you, this is going to be, you know, very suddenly, quickly, because now is the time is right for you. Some of you could be traveling. But I definitely just, I, I do strongly feel that some of you really want to get things going. And you know what? The Four of Wands is under here. 
and not to jump the gun with this particular tower because it is a very pretty tower some of you definitely it could be a new home moving in together you, you want to do something you know the four of wands is about your security stability moving to a new home definitely could be the case for some of you you're definitely dealing with some divine timing but very much very, very much being spiritually and divinely guided, even with the hangman. But this is emotional. I know I'm all over the place, but just look at the colors in both of these cards. You do have a lot of communication coming through as well. With all the blue and, of course, the Ace of Swords, these knights... I mean, for some of you, you definitely could be traveling. You could be traveling around the world. Definitely traveling over the next, or making plans to travel for some of you. In your foundation, you have the Queen of Cups. So you could be dealing with a water sign, female, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. For some of you, it could be your energy, especially if you're a female and you have water in your chart. You know, like I said before, especially with temperance, you definitely could be feeling very emotional, you know, out of your element. And for some of you, you know, now your emotions are balancing out. But probably, you know, probably right now, because you're, I mean, today's only the, the ninth. You know, you could still be in this energy, you know, feeling very emotional. Or you could be dealing with someone that's very emotional. The Queen of Cups is very, um, you know, emotional, but loving, caring, intuitive. I feel like some of you definitely could be following your heart. It is Cups. It's emotions. I really do feel like some of you are following your heart. When it comes to a particular matter. And then what's interesting is in the more recent past. You have the Queen of Wands. So you have two queens here that are in your past. Moving, moving away. Maybe a fire sign person. Female. Aries Leo Sag is important. But I really do feel like with this card in this particular deck, I mean, because of the cat, that you are dealing with a Leo. If this is, if you're a man, or if you, know, if you like women, you're dealing with a Leo woman, a Leo woman that maybe has water in their chart, or vice versa. But this person in the recent past. You know, if it's your energy coming up, you know, maybe, you know, for, for my Aquarius female, if you have, you know, especially Leo, but I'll give you, you know, Aries, Sagittarius in your chart. You know. I mean, you're definitely coming up emotional previously, but then in the more past, in the more recent past, you know, very fiery, passionate, enthusiastic. You know, and both of these women you know, are both very creative, inspiring. And some of you definitely could be listening to your intuition when it comes to something and getting even a little bit Creative, because you are getting ready to move forward, Aquarius, or take some kind of action. You know, with the Knight of Wands, this, you know, it's also, you know, a very passionate, creative energy with the Knight of Wands. So some of you really could be in the process of start of starting something that is, I feel, very exciting for you. 
and it's something that I feel like you're very you're very passionate about but you feel stuck again some of you some of you are, are absolutely ready to move forward you want to move forward There's no doubt about that. But you feel stuck. You know, you... So interesting that that's crowning you and that's what you're thinking about. You know, you, you're wanting things to move forward quickly. Wanting things to happen... But again, you know, when I when I really when I look at both of these two cards, I I just and the hangman is a very spiritual energy, oh, and 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 it's also a temporary energy as well. With this crowning you, it's you know it's it's you're dealing with divine timing. You just have to be patient. You definitely feel. Feel stuck, no doubt, but what with the hangman crowning you, you're you're feeling in limbo or you think you are. But those of you that are ready to move forward, you can absolutely move forward. Some of you, I do get the feeling that you feel stuck, but you're not really stuck. But those of you that are, just stay patient. Because things are definitely happening at the time that they're meant to happen. You know, it is also a voluntary energy, so... Those of you that possibly maybe had like a health issue or maybe you had other things going on, it could actually be you taking a break. You know, temperance and the hangman definitely, definitely might be needing to take a, a, a short break, a little holiday. I do see you doing that or you're hoping to anyway. But your overall energy is some travel here. Some of you definitely might need to take a break. You might you might feel as if you do need some downtime. Time to heal. You know, the hangman in this position can be you thinking about taking a break and spending some time alone and then moving forward. You have the Ace of Swords, which is clarity, truth, an aha moment, especially in this deck. Victory. And, you know, in this deck, too, like, there's not dark clouds. So it's like the challenges are behind you. I, I definitely see the challenges being behind you. Seeing things clearly, hearing the truth, speaking the truth. Definitely victory after being stuck, waiting. But those of you that have been waiting and been waiting patiently, success is absolutely coming through for you. You know, and I've been saying this to the other signs that this has come up for, because it does represent, you know, signing contracts in the U.S. for all. April 15th is the last day to do. <laughs> Some of you Aquariuses might just be signing, you know, finishing up your, your income tax returns the second half of the, the second, the second, right on the 15th of the, of the, of the month. But signing some kind of contract as well. And in the position of how you see yourself, you have the two of swords. A decision needs to be made. 
especially in this position, how you see yourself, a decision is, is definitely important and definitely needs to be made. Maybe you're signing something with the Two of Swords. Others of you could be hearing a decision, trying to make a decision that you really don't want to make. And you're guarded and protected, protecting yourself, closed up, not wanting to do anything. Some of you definitely want to take some time for yourself. And others of you, I love it in this deck. You know, the swords are just wide open, spread apart. Some of you just want to be like, woohoo, I've done it. I've made my decision. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. But those of you that are maybe stuck, closed off, you do want to spend some time alone. Take your time with something. You really might not, not even not, some of you, small number of you, I feel, you, you honestly might not know what the hell to do. You might not even know what you want. Take your time. It's not such a bad thing. You know, if that's, if that's you, do things when you feel ready. I am definitely getting that for some of you. Now, in the position of how other people are viewing you, you have the tower. So for some of you, if you're signing something, it could have something to do with a home. I am convinced of that because this is pretty. And I mean, ironically, you have the four of wands. Let me show you this underneath that so I think some of you have been trying to move to a new home even a piece of property if not and it something and it's something major that's going to shake up your whole world like a breakup I'll be honest the three of swords is under here it was a burden anyway. The Ten of Wands. You completed that cycle. Sorry. It was a heavy burden. Maybe you were dealing with three people. Could have ended abruptly, suddenly. But it's positive. It really is. You were meant to do... This was something that was meant to happen. You know, for some of you, it'll be positive. If you're ready to move to a new home, sign a contract, you know, with the tower and the ace of, tr ace of swords, it really is clarity, truth. That could be very shocking. It could be a shocking realization about something. You know, in this position, you know, for some of you, it will be something that shocks the shit out of you. And in combination with the Knight of Swords, I mean, and the Knight of Wands, it could be very, very just, bam, done. Very unexpected, totally out of the blue. But in your hopes and fears, you have the world. You know, so some of you are, and with the Ten of Wands too, you're hoping to complete this difficult cycle. You really are. It's been a process. It's taken a while. And now you're like on top of the world. You know, I like it. You know, the world is, you have successfully made it, Aquarius. You're moving on to the next cycle or chapter within your life. That some of you are waiting on. Some of you definitely could be waiting, hoping to be able to travel. The Knight of Wands, the world. Even not the Knight of Wands, the Four of Wands, the world, the Tower. Some of you definitely... 
are hoping to be able to move to a new home. And it could be at a distance. I mean, and then the Six of Swords, too. Your outcome card is another card of travel. A lot of you are definitely traveling this month or thinking about it. I don't even have Aquarius in my chart at all. If I do, it's way out there. And my husband and I are... Tis the season, I guess. I don't know. A lot of, a lot of us are planning to travel. You know, it's possible right at the start, you know, of the first week. That could be the challenge for some of you. But by the end of the second week, I see you doing this. You know, for many of you, you're definitely tra traveling over water. There is a lot of water in this reading. And it really could be a very long distance travel. If you're moving to a new home, I mean, you could literally be moving across the globe. But, you know, with temperance and the Six of Swords... This is really moving toward peace, balance, harmony from shitty times to much more calmer times. It really goes this way. I mean, I love how this just, you know, harmony, peace. I like that a lot. Travel's definitely in the cards for many of you. For real. A peace, stability with the four of wands. You feel more balanced, stable. This is really nice. It is a very nice reading. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, and you do have the two queens here. The Queen of Cups, the Tower, definitely could be a water sign, female. But I, uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, that could have Scorpio in their chart. Let's clarify. Wow, I can't believe we're 23 minutes into this reading already. This is an interesting reading, though, for you guys. And I'm not one to rush. I take my time. I don't... I like doing what I do. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna... I feel like to... I'm gonna use the Universal Tarot for you guys. I definitely want to see this Two of Swords. Because you got to look at the depiction of the card. I, I do feel like some of you are wide open like, woohoo, I am ready for this. But just look at the red. You know, that, that's stability, security. It's also passion. You're passionate in the recent past. And the Knight of Swords is your guy's energy. You're very passionate and determined to do something. Say something. Do something. Four of Swords for Aquarius. I do talk a lot. I'm like you guys. I do talk a lot. Two of Swords. Aquarius. I'm going to buy Okay, definitely this one. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, well, Ten of Pentacles, the King of Cups. I'm going to get another one for shits and giggles. Oh, my. Okay, well, the King and the Queen. You have the Queen twice. This is a family. Family matters. Even relationship matters.
and this couple here again. Some of you definitely could be taking on the energy of the Queen of Cups. The King of Cups could be your spouse, your partner. Someone you are in love, are in love. Someone, you know, you're in love with. I do see this as a couple. And, you know, the King of Cups, I feel, is the man that has your heart. The Ten of Pentacles, that Four of Wands under there at this tower. Marriage. It could be someone that you have a family with. And it is clarifying the Two of Swords. So, maybe you have a big decision to make about this person. Or you're waiting on a decision from the from your partner or spouse. If it's if it's work, it could have something to do with a piece of property, inheritances, even with the tower and the ace of swords. Anything legal. Something like that. I want to clarify. I want to look at the tower. Tower of Aquarius. Tower. All right, definitely. Knight of Cups. Two of Swords again. They were repeating cards. Wow, in the Four of Swords. But this is good news. Communication that makes you very happy. And it does not necessarily have to be love. It could be an opportunity that makes you very, very happy. It could be from your partner, spouse, whatever. But for some of you, it definitely can be. The Four of Swords is things being at rest or feeling that things are just on hold, which is the same as the hangman. And then the Two of Swords twice, I definitely feel some of you, like I mentioned earlier, a decision is needed. Some of you could actually be definitely going off and spending some time alone. I can't believe I was, some of you are definitely closed off, not open to something. Again, it, it's someone that doesn't know what to do. This is literally, absolutely, positively doing jack shit. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And that's in your environment and how people are viewing you is doing nothing. This could be someone from the past coming back. Knight of Cups is always someone from the past coming back. If it's love, making you an offer, it would be a Scorpio that probably with the Three of Swords did hurt you, lied, cheated, betrayed, whatever they did. And you're not forgiving them right now. You're not doing anything. But. You're, you're, you're just waiting. Others of you are, are really just waiting on some news. For some of you, it could be waiting on news from this Scorpio. A Cancer or Pisces. It's a general reading. But there is. So much travel 
And with the Ace of Swords, news, truth, clarity, absolutely coming in for a lot of you. And it's also a lot of success. And with the Six of Swords, you're moving forward. Uh, really, I feel strongly fresh starts, new beginnings, all over the place for you guys. Really, I do. I'm going to use it. I've been switching up. I have as many Oracle. If you follow me on Facebook, I have as many Oracle card decks as I do tarot decks. It's ridiculous. Not really. 27 years. I have a, I have a lot. Um, and these are purple. One of my favorite colors. Sacred Traveler. Oracle cards. Absolutely amazing uh, confirmation. Additional guidance cards. Just amazing. I've been switching back and forth here. Here now. Additional guidance for Aquarius Spirit. Aquarius. April 15th to the 28th. What else does Aquarius need to know? Please show me. For Aquarius. Okay. Thank you. I'm also going to be get, getting you a... Um, Romance Angels card. For love. my god transformation a fresh new way of living emerges come on i can't make this up what an amazing clarif clarification card it resonates perfectly like i said the tower can be a shake-up absolutely i believe and i feel it is the universe literally stepping in for you if you were dealing with a person that did, didn't want to make a decision or if it was you, it definitely could be the universe setting, setting in. But believe me when I tell you, if that's the case, I really feel like it's for your highest good. It's definitely in your best interest. Like, it's a new, beautiful, beautiful, blessed new beginning, guys. I didn't even notice this. I was so excited about this. I can't even believe this. For some of you, it is love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Right, and it's right here. It's someone from the past. What a reading. That was a long reading, guys. I'm sorry. But amazing. As soon as you see it, you need to see it. Some of you are, definitely. Others of you aren't. Those of you that see it and go for it. Amazing. Those of you that follow me, on Facebook, I will see you guys Wednesday. Those of you that do not, I will see you guys back here very soon. Love you guys. Have a beautiful two weeks.